A small cardboard box was delivered to a police station by an unknown person. When the detectives opened the box, they found nothing but a flash drive. When they looked on the flash drive, it contained a video which was 24 minutes long. It was an episode of The Loud House. The cops refused to release the video for legal reasons. However, they agreed to describe everything in the video. The video started out with the intro of The Loud House. However, at the end, nobody ran to the couch to watch TV. When the logo appeared, it was colored pastel red instead of orange. The title card had a black Lincoln with blood on the side of his face and fog rolling around it. Instead of a title, it had a dot so it could fill in something. The music was the beginning music of the three days grace animal I have become. The episodes then started with Lincoln and his sisters at a campsite. A 12th figure, which looked more like an adult than a kid or teen, was spying on them. I'm going to go get some berries, said Lenny, as she got up from her chair and went into the bushes. The unknown person sneaks up behind her and stabs her in the back of the neck. Blood came out of her mouth and she fell to the ground. He then kneels over her body and starts ripping out chunks of flesh. Once Lenny was now a big bloody mess, the unknown killer throws her body back into the campsite, frightening everyone else. They begin to run off, all except for Lily, who was crying. The killer pulls out a meat cleaver and hits her as hard as he can, blood splattered all over the ground. Lin notices him and charges after him. He throws his cleaver at her, cutting her throat open. She falls onto her back and gargled in pain as blood came out of her throat. Lena then jumped on the killer's back and attempted to choke him to death. He grabs two sticks from the ground and stabs both of them into her eye sockets, killing her. Laura then bit the killer in the leg, causing him to bleed. He kicked her off and began stomping her into a pile of mushed up gore. Luan ran in an attempt to punch the killer in the stomach. It did no effect, making him take her microphone and wrap the cord around her neck. Then he put the cord at the top of a tree branch and pull it down on it, choking her to death and leaving her dangling from the tree. Lisa then ran in and threw a vial of poison on the killer. It burned it through his suit, exposing his chest. He grabbed her by the throat and poured the rest of the poison into her mouth. She began choking and vomiting as her face turned completely white. After that, he threw her onto the ground. Her glasses smashed to pieces and bits of glass impaled it into her skin, causing her to bleed badly. Lucy then ran out of a bush holding a pair of scissors. She stabbed the killer in the leg, but he grabbed her and began choking her to death. He then pulled the scissors out of his leg, stabbed Lucy in the back and jolted up the scissors, causing blood and muscle tissue to spray out of her. Luna arrived and slammed the killer with her guitar. He pretended to be dead. Luna kneeled over to check his heartbeat just as the killer grabs her and gets up. He then proceeds to bash her head against another tree, causing blood to splatter all over it. He then looked at Lin, who had already bled out while he was killing the other sisters. Lori then jumped out of a bush holding a chainsaw. She swung at the killer, creating a deep cut in his neck. He pulled out his knife and began slashing her until her body was now covered in bloody slits. She collapsed onto her knees, scraping them on the dirty ground and causing them to bleed. The killer stabs her in the mouth, causing the blade to rip her throat open. Blood gushes from her mouth 
and neck as she begins choking. To finish her off, he uses the same chainsaw she had to saw off her head. Lincoln was inside the tent, shaking in fear and too scared to move. The killer opened the tent and threw the corpse of Lori, Lenny, Luna, Luan, Lynn, Lucy, Lola, Lana, Lisa, and Lily inside, making Lincoln scream in horror seeing his sisters all dead. The killer then pours three bottles of lighting fluid on the tent and adds the firewood the loud kids were using to the inside of the tent. He also added olive oil and two big bottles of hand sanitizer, zip it up the tent and rip it off the handle so Lincoln couldn't escape. He then lit a match and put it on top of the tent. A small flame appeared, engulfing the entire tent. The killer ran into the bushes as Lincoln's screams could be heard. As the tent reduced it to ashes, Lincoln's screams faded away. The killer then puts out the fire with a fire extinguisher. The killer then points the camera at himself. He is wearing a ski mask. He then takes the ski mask off and shines a flashlight into his face. He is revealed to be none other than 